All right, in our next part of the tutorial, it's time to get the figures into the scene and into Blender. So we'll start with Saruman, and uh, this is the Lego figure here. And here is a decal made by Dark Knight 7, which we will make use of. So um, in Blender here, I have the torso and the head that we made in the modeling tutorials. And then um, we just need Eldraw, as always. So we'll load it up, and I use the minifig generator. Um, we don't need a head, and we don't need a torso. And then we're looking for Soruman's uh, beard and hair, and I've kind of organize them by categories so here we are right here we'll make it white okay insert into current file and then we will export it and then on a different layer just to keep things separate we will import it so sorry hit shift F1 that's not what you want to do uh, import L draw desktop and I think this is it here indeed it is okay so um, we don't need this it's covered we don't need that it's covered and we just need to uh, actually let's get that back and we'll use it to just guide that right there that's where it goes oh we didn't add a cape we need a cape. Sorry, guys. Uh, file, new, no. Minifig, neck, cape, cloth cape. Cape cloth. And then we only need the cape. Now we export. File. Import, L draw, and there we go. So, just move that around a bit. Eventually, we'll, we'll have to do something about the cape. I don't know why, but the L draw cape is rather ugly. Um, okay, so materials. Let's do materials. We'll call this one white. And all of these we will link to. Control L, make links materials. And then this will be renamed flesh. And the code we'll change to E9, nope, E9C6AF. Um, we'll use that for now. It might change later, but for now it's good. And we will link the head there. Um, actually, we kind of moved out a line there, but that's okay. Um, now, the intensity, we're going to put up to 1. The intensity of the specular, 0.5. Uh, that may or may not change. Um, mirror needs to be enabled. And reflectivity, 0.1. Depth. Uh, don't know if this one matters or not, so I'm not going to touch it. This 1.05, that's good enough. Uh, 0.9 for the gloss. Uh, 18 samples is way too much, unless it's a really up close shot. Um, 
move that to six. I have that written down. I'm not sure why, but I'll just go with what I've written down. And then what we're going to actually do is this material, we're going to um, we're going to make this we want to delete this did that do it? no oh well we'll call it flash and then what we're going to do uh, because we want all those settings that we just added and then we'll go ahead and uh, make it white I'm going to bring this down just a little bit uh, I think it's too much I might change that but oh no sorry sorry guys okay I'm messing up here. Control Z. Uh, we are going to click this number here, which will make it a single user, and then we will call it white. Let's see, I kind of messed up there. We have two whites now, but it's all good. Now our white items get linked to that material, and we will make it white okay let's uh, let's quick see what it looks like we will add a camera oh yeah it's a good camera and then we will add a Add ambient occlusion, samples five, see what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to add a sun in. Again, this is just, I like them looking pretty while we make them. So you can kind of ignore this step. And there we go. Okay, now we need to add our textures for this figure. So we are going to go into edit mode here. And we will loop select, hold down Alt, and right click. We only want the front selected, and then we will mark seam. Same thing down here, Alt, right click, and select the front. And we will mark those two edges as well. I switched to edge selection there. Now we have this subsurf on. Because we're going to do some UV editing, we actually need to remove it. Or we could apply it. But at this point, I'm just going to remove it. Maybe later I will reapply it. But for now, that's all we're going to do. Switch this to UV Image Editor. Say new. Good enough. And then we are going to unwrap this. So hit U, unwrap. <clears throat> Go to UVs, export UV layout. And then. Uh, I have a decals thing, so we'll call it Soromon Face Layout. Export that. Okay, now we need to go into your favorite image editor. For me, that's Photoshop, but I'm sure GIMP or, or something else would work. 
and we will open that image that we just saved. So, should have had that up. Um, actually, don't need to do that. Now I have it right here. So we'll drag it in there. And then we will also drag, get our decal. Select the face, and we will paste it in here. And we want to move it into the middle of this section. Um, and we also want to delete this. If it's a little blurry around the edges, we don't want it pixelated, but if you check out a minifig face, you'll see it's not perfect, so it doesn't need to be perfect. And we want it in the middle. I think that's the middle. And thereabouts. Not going to be too picky, but and then we're going to hide this so that the background is transparent. Save as. We'll just use PNG. Save it over this one. And then we will go to here. Um, <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to make this a single user. So again, we'll hit the number down here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then rename this Saruman Face. Go to our textures, add a new texture, change it to image, open the image that we just saved, which uh, should be right here. And then we're going to go to mapping. Coordinates need to be changed to UV. And if we render that, let's see what happened. Booyah, we got a face. So that's pretty good. Let's get a really good look at it. So yeah, I think that face uh, will do fine for now. We might uh, modify it a little bit, but uh, we'll get to that later. Um, I'm going to save this. Okay, now we need to do the same thing for the torso. Again, there's this subsurf on here. We would either apply it, but for now, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to just going to delete it. Maybe for the final render, I'll reapply it. So this is why we uh, tried to import all that Eldra stuff on its separate layer. That's weird. I didn't know we had that edge there. Kind of not necessary, I would say. I don't know why it's there. I honestly don't. But anyways, uh, hit U. Uh, no, sorry. Mark seam. Um, unwrap. UVs, export UV layout. We'll just do the same thing. So I'm on torso layout, export, go back to our editor, drag that in, and then we'll copy our torso, paste it in. Again, it's got to be over top of what we already had, or that. 
that layout that we had. Um, and I'm really not going to get too picky here. Again, decal made by Dark Knight 7. Um, we got to delete all these white sections. The reason why I'm deleting these is just so that the material that we have will then be rendered in Blender. Um, you could play around with that, but it'll work. Not to get too picky, but to get too picky. Okay, now we'll just save this. Save as, again, PNG, doesn't really matter. And then, uh, same deal, we gotta go to our materials, make this a single user. Say, Saruman Corso. Add a texture, image or movie. There it is. Change the mapping from generated to UV. And we should be good to go. That all worked. Yeah, so... Um, That's it, really. You know, I think this torso was made... Hmm. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do for now. So, one figure down, and then uh, we still need to do the orcs. Um, and again, some all some of this might change when we're actually in the scene, but for now, good enough.